Well, welcome to the companion video from the Modern Acoustic Guitar Workshop that we did on Friday, May 20th at Elmwood for the High Interest Day. The purpose of this video is to help you remember what we worked on in the workshop because sometimes it's very difficult just from hearing a song or looking at the notation that we provided you to be able to play the song. So it's helpful to have a visual aid. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to walk through the different parts. We're going to walk through the bass part. We're going to walk through the melody and the harmony part. Those are two different hands, as uh, you remember. Now, at the end of your workshop yesterday, uh, tomorrow, I'm filming it Thursday night, uh, at the end of your workshop tomorrow, I'm going to be giving you a business card, and it's going to have the web address of where you can pick up the presentation that we worked on. So you'll have, you'll have all the notation, all the techniques laid out for you. And it will also have the location of where we put the video on YouTube. At this point, I want to say thanks to my daughter, Emily, who's uh, a fourth grader at Elmwood, and she's taking this video. So this is her first time director credit. All right, let's begin. We're going to start with the bass and then move to the melody. So, as you might remember from the class, the bass is very simple, relatively speaking. So the first thing we want to do to get the bass going is to simply brush the note or pluck the note. We're not hitting, we're not tapping the note like we do in the other things. We're just simply brushing the note to get the open string to ring. Like that. So that's the first thing we do. And then we're going to play those power chords that I showed you in the class. Two notes, so we're hitting two strings between the fret. In this case, it's the fifth fret. And then at the second fret. And then all the way up to the seventh fret. Now, unlike when we first started this piece, we don't have to do that delicate, gentle plucking to get the strings to ring open. It's a pull off like we talked about. All I need to do is pull off from the seventh fret where my hand has been, like that, and it will ring out for me. Okay? And then we come to the fifth measure. All right? So that's what we're working on. That's the bass part. I'm going to play it slowly, and then I'll play it at performance tempo for you. Okay? song that we were working on, Fatima's Waltz, by Justin Roth. I'll give you some information more about that song at the end of our video here. Now I'm going to play it at performance tempo, okay? And that's our, uh, that's our bass. So we're using those power chords I showed you, which is to, is to really tap strings to get two notes to sound together. All right? Now let's talk about the melody. The melody also has a harmony interwoven in it, so you're hearing two voices. But the way that you have to achieve that is by playing very cleanly. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that our fingers are perpendicular to the fretboard. So this is a fretboard. Our fingers need to come down like this. Well, why is that important? It's important because we want to make sure that the adjacent strings can ring out. Because as we pull them off, if we pull off to the open strings, and we'll go into this in a second, we want those notes to ring out because in, hidden within those open strings is the harmony that we're shooting for. Okay? So here we go. I'm going to play the melody at a slow tempo, and then I'll play it at larger tempo. Ready? multiple open strings ringing and that's part of the effect of, of when you do tapping and we work with a lot of open strings we want to get those to, to sound out so I'm going to play it again slowly so much for slowly right the phone's ringing here so there's all kinds of distractions I'll play it slowly now
play a performance tempo, it's a little faster. So that's, that's what the left hand is doing, is playing the melody and is playing the, the harmony part as well. So good news, right? We have the bass part with our power chords. And we have the melody going as well. So now I'm going to pull these pieces together and play it slowly, and then we'll play it at a performance tempo, okay? the parts coming together like we worked on in the workshop. Um, it's going to take you a little time to get your hands coordinated to do that, but it should go pretty easily. Now I'm going to play it uh, finally at performance tempo so you get a flavor for, for how I might play it when I, I play out. That's the end of our video to uh, our companion video for the workshop that we did on Friday. So I hope you got a lot out of it. Thank you for having me come in. I, and I learned as much from you, I think, as you learned from me in the workshop. So thanks so much. Um, remember the business card will have the address on my website on markdiadati.com where you can pick up the, the presentation that we worked from that will have the notation that you need to play the music. Also, uh, if you like the song and want to continue working on it, please go to iTunes or to Amazon and look up Justin Roth, or you can look in the presentation, we have links there as well, uh, and purchase a song, Fatima's Waltz. Also, you can pick up the commercial transcription of it, the whole song for you to learn from, uh, at strokes.com. And again, that web address is in the presentation as well. So thanks again, have a great time, and I hope you continue to play.